Hello there, boys and girls of the Minecraft universe. Centronet here with a brand new tutorial on the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to reset the nether or trim the end in Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.16.100 or higher. Mojang has been very busy updating the game to get ready for the cave and cliffs update. And as a result of that, they have actually broken or changed a lot of the world generation stuff. And the broken part is a lot of the third party tools that we use no longer work. So we have a new tool that I'm gonna show you guys today, which was made by Rufus Atticus. There is a card up there with a link to his channel and all of his details are also down in the description. Rufus, it's an awesome tool. Thank you so much for making it. And I can't wait to show you guys how this works. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so I have this video broken up into chapters just to kind of make it easier. And I've got all the details down in the description. I tried to write everything out as clear as possible, but I figured I'd walk you guys through it and show you how it actually works. This is more complicated than the way that we used to do it using MCC tool chest PE. Now let's talk about what you guys are gonna have to do to be able to actually, well, Enderman, <laughs> you know, what you guys actually need to do to get set up for this. And the first thing that we have to talk about is this tool is for Windows 10. You're gonna have to get your world moved from whatever device you're on over to a Windows 10 PC so that you can actually do this. If you play on mobile or if you play on console, the easiest way to get it moved over is use a Realm to get it from your device over to your PC and actually do the work as, and you can do that as long as you have the Windows 10 version okay. of the game. Enderman, don't look at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm just trying to have a conversation. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm in creative mode. That's why he isn't killing me. All right. So the other thing you can do is I have a tutorial down there in the description that will help you get your world off of an Xbox over to your PC. And then I don't have a tutorial yet for doing it for Android, but if you guys want one, let me know and I can obviously put that together. But I do have a tutorial for how to do it for iOS devices. Now, if you guys are on a PlayStation or a Switch, you're gonna have to use Realms. I have not been able to find a way to get the worlds off of those consoles and onto Windows 10 without using a Realm. Sorry guys, I can't do it. I haven't figured it out. All right, next up, let's go ahead and we are going to download the files that we need to be able to pull this off. Here we go. Okay, so there are two applications that you're gonna have to download from the internet. The first one is BusyBox. And the way that you can download this is just copy this link. Again, it's down there in the description. Paste it in the web browser of your choice and it will download the file. The second one is MCBE Repair, which was made by Rufus Atticus. The most current version is 0.2.0. .0. He updated this a couple of weeks ago and you have to download this and I'll show you guys what you do with them once you download it. Let me switch windows real quick and I'll show you. All right, so we're gonna have to go to our Minecraft world save folder. This shortcut is down there in the description. It's the easiest way to get into the folder because the path is kind of complex. Just copy this entire thing, then do Windows key and R at the same time, and that's gonna open a run box. If you paste that entire thing in here and hit enter, it's gonna open your Minecraft world save folder. Now, what we're gonna do is take the stuff that we just downloaded and move it over there. Okay, so I have two windows up in front of me. On the left side, I have my downloads folder, which is where I saved everything that we just downloaded in the previous steps. And on the right side, I have my Minecraft worlds folder, which I opened using that shortcut that I just showed you. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take BusyBox and we're gonna copy it from our downloads folder over into our Minecraft world save folder, just like that. And here we have the zip file that I downloaded for MCBE repair. Again, Rufus Atticus, awesome dude, does a lot of stuff for the community. Make sure you guys check him out. He's the one that wrote this. So I double clicked on my zip folder. I'm gonna double click on the folder that is right inside of it. Double click on the bin folder and take everything that's in here and copy it over into the Minecraft world save folder, just like this. And there you go, it all shows up. Now let's talk about the way that the Minecraft world save folders show up in here. The names, they don't mean anything to you and I, we can't read those. So the one thing that you wanna do in here is make sure that you're sorted by date modified. You wanna have the latest world open right in front of you. And the way that you get things up to the top of this list is go into Minecraft and either open the world that you wanna work with or edit the settings on it. Just click that little pencil and it will automatically move it up to the top of the list. Then you can close Minecraft because it has to be closed for everything that we're doing in this tutorial. 
And always make sure that you make a backup of it before you do anything, either by copying the folder and putting it somewhere else or using the export world feature that is in Minecraft. Make sure you back it up. Don't yell at me, don't yell at Rufus. If something goes wrong, it's your responsibility to make sure that you back up your world. And also before you reset the nether or trim the end, get out of those dimensions. Go back to the overworld, find a safe spot for you to hide. Make sure you're not in those dimensions because if you're in the nether and you reset it, uh, you're gonna spawn in some nasty places because it's gonna remember where you were and it's just not gonna be pleasant. You'll be in blocks, you'll be in lava, who knows? And in the end, if you reset the islands or if you're on like a bridge or something like that, yeah, it's just not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be gone. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and open up a command prompt. This is our last step that we have to get done before we kind of go off in two different tiers. And again, there are uh, chapters down there so you can pick the nether or the end depending on what you want to do. Let's go ahead and get a command prompt to open and I'll show you guys what we have to do next. Okay, so to open a command prompt, you're going to do Windows key and R on your keyboard. Go ahead and type in CMD, which is short for command. That's gonna open your command prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this so that you guys don't see anything else on the window and don't get distracted by anything else. Now we're gonna take that shortcut that we used before to get to our Minecraft world save folder. And in here, we're gonna do CV and then we're gonna do control V to go ahead and paste that shortcut that we used before. And that's gonna take us right into the location where all of our Minecraft world saves are. From here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run BusyBox. Again, this command is down there in the description. Paste it right here. Don't change anything. Hit enter and that's going to open BusyBox. You're going to know that you're in there successfully because you have the dollar sign and your cursor is clicking off of that. So those are all the prereqs, guys. From this point on, two tutorials coming up. The first one is to reset the nether. The second one is to trim the end. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so now it's time to reset the nether. The nether, we reset everything. Everything has to go. We reset every single chunk block you've ever loaded and all of the portals are gonna disappear too. The first thing we need to do is we need to go over and we need to grab our folder name or the world that we wanna modify. I'll show you that right now. I'm over here in my Minecraft world save folder. This is the one that we wanna work with. Here's another fun fact. You can go into the folder and double click level name dot text, and that's going to show you the name that actually shows up in Minecraft, just in case you're not sure. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on the folder, go down to rename, and then right click in there, copy it, and then click out. Don't change anything, but you need to be able to grab that world name. Now we're in the script that actually is going to go through and do the nether work that we want to get done you are gonna see the word replace me in here a few times. Highlight that and then do control V. That's gonna paste your folder name right over replace me. I'm gonna do it here and I'm gonna do it here as well. So you should have three places where you have to change it and you shouldn't see the word replace me anymore. And let me tell you what this thing is doing. MCBE repair by Rufus Atticus <laughs> is going through and it's gonna generate a list of everything that's in your world. The next step is it's going to go through and just pull out the stuff that is in the nether and create a new file just with the nether things that we're going to go through and reset. Now, next up, it's going to go through and it is going to remove all of the nether stuff from your world. So this is getting rid of all the chunks that you've loaded and all that goodness. The final step is it's going to go through and get rid of the portal data on the nether side. So your overworld portals are still going to be there, but when you go through them, it's going to generate a new portal in the nether. You're still gonna have to go through and do the math to get them linked correctly. That doesn't change at all, but your overworld stuff is still intact. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this goodness onto my clipboard, and we're gonna go back over to our command prompt and actually work with it there. All right, so I'm back over here in the command prompt. I haven't changed anything. We still have our dollar sign. We still have our blinking cursor. If you guys did close this, just go back to the prerequisite section and you'll be able to get this launched again. What I'm gonna do is come over here into the upper left-hand corner. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to edit and then I'm going to go to paste. It's gonna go through and run everything that we have in our clipboard that we copied from the previous script. This could take a minute. All right, so down here at the bottom after it runs all of that stuff and you may see a whole bunch of things getting deleted. You may see only a few things getting deleted. It depends how busy you guys have been in the nether in your world. 
The last command down there at the bottom is to remove the portals. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So it does that last step and that's it. Our nether is now completely reset. Let's go over to Minecraft. Showed you guys the hub at the beginning. Now let's see what it looks like here at the end. And we're back over here in our broke rock world. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the portal. Uh-oh, my nether hub is gone. Uh, let's see, I need to figure out how to get through the portal. Well, good thing I'm in creative. That's a long drop. As you can see, the nether has been completely reset. The hub that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video is now absolutely gone. Now, some things that people raised in some of the previous tutorials I've done is, hey, I'm seeing normal nether. If you are, that's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. You have to travel out and actually find the biomes, but they are there. You will get all the good stuff. But guys, that's it for the nether part of the tutorial. Next up, let's go ahead and do the end. And here is my end portal on the Broke Rock server. We're gonna go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna take you over and show you an end city really quick that we have already raided. And as you can see, we have all of our end portal gateways. We only trim the ends so that we don't lose these because it takes a lot of work to open them <laughs> or to get them open after you beat the dragon a bajillion times. I'm gonna grab myself an ender pearl and run over to an end city and show you that it has been raided so that we can come back and I can show you that it has been reset. All right, so right here we have an end city. We have already raided this. As you can see, there are no shulker boxes there at the entrance. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some random blocks and place them down so you guys can see that we are actually resetting this. Let's go ahead and get out of the end. I think the way I wanna do that is just by dying. <laughs> It's just easier, easier, easier. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to grab the name of the folder for our world save. It is right here, and I showed this already in the nether part of the tutorial, so don't get mad at me if you've got to see it twice. But to double check the name, you can double click on the folder, go into level name.txt, and it's gonna show you the name that actually shows up in Minecraft. Just in case you have any doubts as to whether or not you're working with the one that you wanna work with. So right click this, go down to rename, right click in there, go to copy, Click out here, don't change anything, but now you have the name and you're ready to go over and modify the script so that we can actually trim the end. Here we go. All right, so here's the script that we're gonna use to go through and trim the end. There are two things in here that you have to replace with the folder name and they both say replace me, so I'm gonna highlight that. I'm gonna paste our folder name over replace me there and then I'm gonna do the same thing down here on the bottom. There are only two places in this one that you have to replace it in. And the nether one, we had more than two. So don't worry about it. We're not missing any steps, but let me walk you through what this is actually doing. We're using MCBE Repair by Rufus Atticus to go through and build a list of everything that you have in your world. Then the next step is it is taking everything that is end related and putting it in a file. As long as it is more than 20 chunks out from zero, zero. You can modify this number if you want it to be larger or smaller. 20 is what I found to work really well on the multiplayer server that we're on. Uh, the bottom step here actually goes through and deletes everything. So this one builds a list and this one goes through and actually deletes it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this. We're gonna go back over to our command prompt and run it there. All right, and here we are back over at our command prompt. We have BusyBox running. We've got our dollar sign. We've got our blinking cursor afterwards. If you guys did close this window before for whatever reason, just go back to the chapter on the prerequisites so you can get this relaunched. I'm gonna right click in the upper left-hand corner. I'm gonna go down to edit, and then I'm gonna go to paste, and it is gonna go through and run our commands. Now, depending on how crazy you've been with exploring the end and end city rating, this could take some time. So let's go ahead and speed this up a bit. And there you have it, it has completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Minecraft. Let's go back over to that end city and see how it looks now. All right, we're back in the end. Let's go over here. It was this gateway and let's race over to that end city. Okay, so we're coming up on the end city. I have not changed anything. My nose was itching. So let's go over here to the front. All the blocks that we placed on the ground are now all gone. And guess what? We've got shulkers back. So we trimmed the end. Everything on the main island stayed exactly the way it was. I really hope you guys enjoyed these two tutorials combined into one video. 
wanted to show you guys everything in one place. Rufus Atticus is the dude that created MCBE Repair. Go show him love. Thank you, Rufus, for allowing me to do this tutorial. And thank you for all the work you do for the community. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button. If you guys loved it, make sure you subscribe. This is Centronet. I'm out.